She's a difference maker because she goes above and beyond. She's a true asset to the insurance industry and community as a whole. Good afternoon, everyone. Are we all here? Has everyone turned in their exam? I have worked in the industry for uh, 41 years now. I started uh, with insurance carriers, so I spent 31 years on the carrier side doing property and casualty insurance, and I have been teaching now for 10 years. Most of the time, women didn't start off just in underwriting, so I actually started in the mail room. One of the managers in the commercial rating department came to me and said, hey, we want you to take this math test and see if you've got what it takes to rate policies. And so in a pretty short time, um, I went into underwriting, and that's really the bulk of my career before I got into management. When I worked at the Gulf Insurance, which was, you know, that's the first time I ever heard of CIC. People in the home office were talking about, oh, I just passed this exam and this one. So I said, I want to do this too. So I went to my manager and said, hey, I want to take the CIC class. I am a firm believer in insurance education because every program that's out there has a different bent on it and so forth. They all add value. When I turned 50 is really I had an epiphany and said, okay, you know, what do I want to do the next half of my career? But I thought I'm going to retire and just see what I want to do. Well, I hadn't been home for a month until I got a call from UNT that said, hey, we heard you're out of corporate now. We want you to come and teach for us. She really, truly does see the best in every single student she has. She knows where they will perfectly fit within the industry and she knows how to help them on an individual basis. I really love seeing the light go off and say, First of all, I've never heard of what you do. I've never heard of risk management, but it sounds really cool and I want to do that. She was able to paint the picture of being a mom and working. That was important to me since I have an eight-year-old little girl. The work-life balance with family was incredibly important. It made me fall in love with the industry. I try to tell these students to understand what is your passion, what do you want to do. You can have a career and still do what's important to you. She has so many connections in the industry. She'll bring them out to our lectures and so we have other voices and other opinions um, each week pretty much in the class and that's what made me so engaged and so involved in her course. In my Principles of Risk Management, which is the intro class, I'll post 50 to 100 business cards of my colleagues. I just, you know, copy and I say, your assignment is this. You call this person, you introduce yourself, tell them you're in my class, you would like to interview them. She basically said, okay, it's up to you, reach out to this person and get to know them, what do they do? Um, how did they come across this business? They have to write a report for me, then they have to send them a thank you email copying me, and then they have to send them a handwritten note. There have been countless students who got internships because of this, and some of them got their full-time jobs because of it. Um, that assignment was hands down my favorite so far. She's heavily involved in our Gamma chapter. And when I started learning about Gamma, I found that this is a uh, professional fraternity for risk management and insurance students and actual science students. When I was asked to join the staff and actually start the program at uh, UT Dallas, I said, okay, we're gonna have a Gamma chapter, so I gotta know, I'm, have I got your support? You know, so we started one here, and uh, now we have made the superior level. It's very much of an honor to uh, represent them. We do have the University Associate CIC program, and uh, getting ready to start the University Associate CRM program. For me, like Andrew, we've fallen in love with it because of Deborah Richardson. She has painted the picture of this is the industry and this is how it's changing. I've been so blessed being able to do what I love here. I would love to see this program grow. It's going to be a sad day when she completely retires from the industry. Her personal testimony of being able to overcome all those challenges and bring it forward to teach us now what it used to be like, that's invaluable. I really feel like we're not just put on this earth just to live in our own little island and be successful in ourselves. If we don't share it with other people and bring them along, I mean, what's the point?